We are Sad Designs. Uh, my name is Alex Meal. Scott Noggle. Derek Hastings. This project is a large square bale accumulator. So what is the challenge that you're trying to solve? What's the problem? Okay, the problem is, is that uh, today currently on the market there is one single square bale accumulator that stacks bales one on top of the other and it is uh, relatively expensive and uh, heavy and it also uh, uses electronics and hydraulics to complete the task of stacking two bales one on the other and so we wanted to come up with a design that accomplish the same task stacking one bale on top of the other without the use of electronics, hydraulics and also be simple and lightweight. So how heavy would each bale be? Um, approximately each bale ranges between around 700 pounds. So we're going to stack three of them. It's over a ton, bouncing around through the field. That's the challenge. Correct. Okay, so it looks like you use some uh, high-tech, super-duper engineering tools. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you use? Sure. We use Pro Engineer. It's a 3D solid design package. And it also has an FEA program in it. So you can design each part individually, specify all the sizes and the material. Then you can assemble them, and then you can run analysis on it. And since it, you can apply the, your forces and your constraints, and since it knows the material properties and all your sizes, it can tell you the different stresses in the different areas. It can tell you where you have uh, major stresses. It can show deformation. And so you can do a lot of analysis to make sure that all your sizing is correct before you actually build anything. So it looks like you have not only designed it, you actually build it. I saw in a video there just briefly that it actually does work. What were the challenges going from design on the computer to the real model? Our first challenge was getting all our pieces. We had a roller bed and caster wheels that we ordered. Then we built everything else out of square tubing. We fabricated using uh, bandsaws and welder. And we used square tubing to make all our mounts and cuts. 